Hello everyone and welcome to the open beta of Balsa Model Flight Sim. This is by the developer of Kerbal Space Program, the original developer of Kerbal Space Program Harvester. And this is his next project. It is currently in early access or going into early access. It's still an open beta. So we see uh, version 0 0.32.11.603. And so yeah, Floating Origin Interactive. That is actually a reference to a very essential uh, physics uh, modification to Unity for Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I, maybe it's relevant here too. So yeah, I'm not gonna have a quarter res texture though. Hopefully we can do full res texture. I think it defaults to very low. Okay, so that'll be, well, let me just uh, click ultra here. <laughs> Again, we'll see where things go wrong later. Okay, well that seemed to change quicker. All right, I've already adjusted the audio settings at least. It's very nice how they actually did the input stuff because everything is very easy to see. I mean, it's visually it might be a little bit cluttered, but I can tell how to adjust everything for every axis fairly clearly. So there's the yaw axis. Uh, the throttle axis seemed to take some time, which might be all right. Okay, and then uh, roll. Roll is immediate, and we can invert, we can do all these things, and pitch. So yeah, I've already got the axes all done. We, we even have trim. Um, you might think, well, a balsa plane having trim, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't know much about balsa planes. I, I expect that they are going to get very complicated in this game. All right, uh, done, and accept. So let's start the game. I had already done the tutorial. I am... I'm just gonna go with my name. Uh, head style. I'm green. <laughs> I, I, uh, though, uh, to be honest, I, I get the feeling that a lot of people are gonna be picking green. I can't rotate it. Baseball cap, backwards, well, forwards or backwards. Well, I, I want shading for my eyes, so there. I'll take the sports glasses. We'll just keep it like this. Fine. All right. Start career. I guess so. Career mode is still under heavy development. More bugs than usual. Okay. Well, that's what we're here for, right? We're gonna. It's an open beta so that we can find the bugs. A little airfield. Now to your home base. Uh, it's now your home base. RC clubmates are around the area. They will help you get started. Oh, I'm looking up. Okay, so walking is normal. Okay. Certified model flight instructor. I can train you in everything related to model flying from the very basics to advanced piloting. Ready to begin. Oh, first flight. Okay, we've got Glider Zero here. Don't worry, if you don't have your own model yet, you'll be flying one of mine. Try not to break it too much. Okay, there's a model playing there. Free on this lesson. So they're not always going to be free. We'll have to pay for them. The introduction walkthrough. Yeah, it was, I, I don't remember anything from it. Throw the plane through the waypoints in front of you. So grab. Ah, there we go. Okay, and... Actions. All right, so throw. Oh, I went too high. I passed. It looked like it was too high. Well, now we're not getting that back. <laughs> I assume since we're doing glider stuff here that they have a ladder to the top there. Ooh, funds plus five thousand, and I've got XP. Okay. I unlocked things. Adaptive fuselage. More missions. There are a lot of parts here. That's an actual motor. 185 watts. Okay. Uh, chuck. Well, I, I, let's just try and build something. Didn't seem like the parts were too expensive. Okay, tandem cockpit, 
Acewing cockpit. Acewing cockpit. Um. So just clicking it doesn't seem to do it. Oh, I need more XP to unlock them. Okay, so you need XP to unlock parts. That, I guess, saves it from a tech tree kind of thing. Uh, arrow from... That looks horrible, but that's all I've got. No, actually, this tandem cockpit is okay. Okay, so clicking that gives me the cockpit. The zoom is a little bit slow. Uh, maybe there's a shift zoom? No, shift goes... Shift scroll wheel goes up and down. Scroll wheel goes that way. Right click that does that. Uh, holding down the middle bot button pans like that. But the zoom is a little bit slow, I think. But we'll see. It depends on how big the planes are. That won't fit very well here. Um, snap. I mean, that, that doesn't fit right. There's this one that's actually supposed to be for it. I might want, actually... Oh, let's have a pusher prop. I like pusher props better anyway. <laughs> this is probably going to be my undoing. Torquity Electronics. Do we need... Oh, I just noticed my cockpit is facing the wrong way. Uh, I built everything backwards from what I wanted. Oh, shoot. Well, now it's not a pusher prop. Uh... One of the two, I, I had my heart set on pusher props. Okay, we're gonna... <laughs> I just noticed which way the windshields were. It could be that some of the tools get unlocked later, like paint jobs. <laughs> um, weapons. Well, yeah, I mean, we don't have weapons here. Those probably get unlocked too. I don't know if passenger seats are... Well, I mean, we can place them. I don't know if we want to place them. But yeah, that's not hard to place, that's for sure. I'll leave them out though, that's just extra mass if we're not actually gonna have passengers. So like, if I just put the... well, it doesn't have a node on the back here. For me to put the engine just like that. I can't click on these parts anymore. Um, what did I do? Oh, I was probably in that seat mode, that's all. Okay. Okay, these surface attach. Oh no. Oh no, what have you done, game? Now you've asked for it. Um, where's my aerodynamic? Yeah. Okay, now we have all sorts of little nodes to modify the wing. That's good. Uh, I have to just, just figure out which one does what I want. Oh, that curvature is not what I was looking for. Aha! Let me lift. Uh, I wanted to lift it up a bit, but uh, I guess we just have to ro use the rotate tool. Oh boy. I'm just. Uh, I'm going too far, aren't I? Why Why is it in this view now? Before when I placed the motor, it didn't go into that view. But here's my other engine. See, when I click this engine, it doesn't go into internal view. I don't know why clicking that engine did go into internal view. Symmetry works. That three belated propellers. That'll be a necessary upgrade uh, eventually. Do we get any sort of center of masses in the lift indication? Oh gosh. I feel like this should be a canard plane. I'm definitely overdoing this. No, this is not a balsa plane. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe people get to do really crazy balsa planes. I don't know. Not not when I was a kid was this a balsa plane. Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe I just didn't get into the elite levels of Balsadom. Okay, well this is this is the part that could be frustrating. Well, no, it wasn't. Uh, that's not bad. 
for how to attach control surfaces. Um, no, actually, I was expecting some handles to adjust them, though. Oh, there they are. Skew. Okay, thickness. Paper. Span. Span is what I wanted. But, but it's really just gonna be completely... A surprise whether this is going to be aerodynamically stable, huh? I'm not sure why it decides to... Maybe you should just have it be an all-moving all surface for the... Vertical stabilizer. I don't know if that's possible or not. Attached to nearly anything, it says. I don't think this is the best idea. Okay, let's go back and try and make a... Okay, and actually, if I could... So, Alt-click this and copy. I would really like to copy this somehow. Oh, we can right-click on it and change the numbers like this instead of clicking the little nodes. Okay. That's interesting to note. Clone part, R. Okay. R, click. All right. Oh, it's because uh, this, this nose cone has a different symmetry thing going. Okay, so I'll just attach it to the body here then and then scooch it up. I hope that works aerodynamically. Without uh, the aerodynamic indicator, I can't tell whether it's uh, understands what I'm doing when I, let's say, move this up. I have to assume that. I figure I better save now, huh? What do we call this? Um, I'm gonna call it the Ascender 2. <laughs> Uh, oops, I've got caps lock on. Okay, landing gear. Well, that'll do approximately. Uh, that doesn't give the props a whole lot of clearance. We have here steering angle, not a whole lot going on with the wheels. Can't tweak scale the wheels at all? I guess we have to unlock better wheels. Central wheel needs XP. So how do I put something in the center then? I guess we'll have to double the wheels on the center. Unless we just want it to skid to a stop. I don't quite understand the symmetry sometimes. Seems like it's best to try and put these wheels on the wings somehow. Just, uh, we can put them close enough so that they don't poke out there and that'll be fine. There's a fair chance it'll still flop on its tail, though. Read the manual. I don't want to read the manual. What's this? Angle snap. Oh, there's the internal view. Aero stability. Aero stability. What? Okay, what is it telling me now? Okay, well, suddenly we've got more tools to understand. Center of thrust. Here we go. Center of mass. Okay, it's there. So I happen to... Oh, I'm good. Uh, no, I mean, I happen to put the back landing gear exactly where they're supposed to be, so... That's... convenient. Aero stability, it says, but not center of lift or pressure or something like that. Why is the center of thrust over here? Um, can we reverse one of the propellers? Oh... Okay, pusher prop, yeah. Uh, we'll have one contra rotating. Pusher prop. But the center thrust is still over here. Yep, it's pretty resolute about that. Okay, but 
Meanwhile, arrow stability. What does this mean? It seems like it's unstable at high angles there. That would be a stall. And then it's unstable here, is what it's trying to tell me. Let me let me tweak it. Let's say I slide oh. It's based on the wing. It doesn't seem to have changed much in relation to me putting moving things. Well, how about if I move this one? Well, you know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll read the manual someday. I think we have uh, we have many batteries probably. The thrust vector is worrying me though. We can have major malfunction or green plastic dude, but I think we'll pass. This is now more expensive than it was before. We are at uh, 397 bucks. The battery is 54. So yeah, not cheap. I'm very worried about the thrust vector. <laughs> why Why is it like this? They're both the same prop and they're both the same engine. Well, why don't I see what happens if I throttle limit? So we've got too much over here in theory. If I throttle limit this to 15, thrust vector still doesn't change. So, okay, that's just not telling me the truth. <laughs> so push your prop, push your prop. Uh, we'll have one contra rotating because that that thing isn't... I'll have this one counter-rotate. Don't know if it's counter-rotating the best possible way, but we'll see. Okay, this is much more complicated than any plane I've built in here before. Uh, let's... let's... There's a hangar, assemble, and then fly. I just want to fly. Can I fly? Working on a blueprint before... You have to assemble it and store it in your collection. Fine. Use a slot. That's a slot. Accept. Yes. There it is, in all of its glory. Okay, grab. Um, shouldn't we start the plane somehow? Uh, engine, engine auto start, control R. Okay, well, fine. Um, whoa, no. No, Ow! I've broken things. Oh no, it's rolling! It's rolling! No! Ow! Retrieve vehicle. Um... Moderate damage. Uh, repair please. That's a lot to repair. Got the parts right there. Okay, so how do we start the engine properly? Let's go back to the workshop. 185 watts, right? Like, yeah, right-clicking on them doesn't do anything, so I don't assume that I have to... Maybe I should put the batteries proximal. One in each of these fairings, huh? Um, I'm surprised the symmetry didn't work for them. Now the thrust vector is moving straight through the craft, but the mass is off to one side. That's... weird. Oh shoot, let's start him up. That's what I want to see. All right. Spent a little bit more. Are you actually going to be able to do that? Okay. 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 Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ow! Ow. 
Ah. Uh... Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, stop. 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 They don't stop. I don't want to repair it. <laughs> All right, fine. All right, fine. Let's let's go back to the workshop. Ah, uh, this might not have been the most brilliant design ever. I'll have to think about this. Now, now the center mass and center of thrust are aligned. It's about time. Um. But the center of thrust is a little bit high. I would think that the control authority and the aerodynamic surfaces would help us figure it out. This this could be tilted up a bit. But yeah, I think I will save tweaks to this for another time. Anyway, that is my first experience in Valsa Model Flight Sim in the open beta. And this is going to be interesting. I should probably do some of the other missions that they've got pre-planned instead of hopping right into building my own plane and learn a bit more before trying this sort of thing out. But we'll see. With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.